Welcome to The Sims 4 Disney Legacy Part 12. Oh, and there our main character goes off to work. Um, anyways, I guess I'll just give a quick uh, recap of the last episode. We had the boys became very good friends. Oh, late payment. Gavin's discovered that the hardest part of being a freelan freelancer getting paid on time. He can either hound the company for money or just move on and not waste any more time that could be used working. Um, beg for paycheck. Oh man, I didn't read that. Uh, anyways, the boys became best friends and partners in crime and we planned a prank and it says prank successful. After the first tomato was flung by Sam, a hurricane of foodstuffs flew wildly about the school cafeteria. It was the funny, funnest day in school history and also the messiest. Sam became quite popular as a key participant in the epic food fight. So yeah, that happened. Uh, Olivia is extremely pregnant and probably gonna burst at any given moment. Um, Gavin aged up not that long ago. It seems Dexter is having problems with the alphabet. He can't seem to get past A. Kudos. Um, and Dexter is pretty close. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That was some scary music. Anyways, Dexter is pretty close to aging up, so we will have his birthday probably in this part. Let him go play. Ooh, go play arithmetic attack. All the boys are kind of bored. Oh, we'll go ahead and do that. That's a good idea. Sebastian's going to go play. Oh, you're stinky, honey. Go take a shower. There you go. And now he has to use the bathroom. There we go. Okay. So hopefully in this part we will have a birthday. And hopefully Mr. Dexter here will age up. He doesn't really seem to be having very much fun. I don't blame him. Math sucks. Let's play keyboard commander. Eh, he seems to be having more fun now. And Sebastian, it just needs a little bit of fun as well. Sam is out here having the time of his life. Why don't you come get something to eat? I don't know. I think Sam has quite a while before he ages up. Yeah, he's got eight days. So he's got definitely some time. Have him get some... Uh, I guess dinner. Awesome. Um, Gavin has been promoted to an advice columnist. He will now make an additional six dollars, six simoleons per hour for a grand total of 44. He has also received a bonus and the thinker. Nice. And she did a good day at work. So, cool. Have Olivia come sell this. And he needs to change out of that terrible outfit. Oh, go ahead and go clean. I'm not going to stop you. And she needs to change out of this terrible outfit and go clean the toilet because she's the one that threw up in it and made it gross. So Dexter, you can get off of there and go do your homework. You can do your homework when you're all finished. How's Sebastian going out here? Pretty good mood. Why don't you go ahead and do your homework as well? When Olivia's done, we'll have her... Ooh, mop up that puddle. And you know what? Let's go ahead and sell the stuff in their inventory that we can. Because he just got some... Oh, it's a chair. Yeah, we don't need a chair. We're just going to sell it. And we've got quite a bit of money. Um, I know that I just changed the house around. But they're going to be having more children... So, I guess I could, we'll wait a while, but we can add another bedroom, maybe. Hmm. 
I don't think we have quite enough to put in upstairs, but we could add another bedroom, like maybe over here. So it's really more about function than anything else. Okay. Well, we'll we'll wait on that. Just let them go about their business. Does she have? She does have to paint. So why don't you come and do? Oh, do a flirty painting. Gavin decided to do some exercise. Good for you, Gavin. But you need to write a, oop, a book. How are the boys doing? Dexter just finished his homework so he can go use the bathroom. And then we'll have him get some dinner as well. Sam's in a good mood and he's about to start up his homework. And Sebastian's a little hungry, so we'll let him finish that, and then he can get something to eat. And she's going to level up in any minute. That's awesome. Oh, he's not having very much fun. Okay, why don't you go ahead and play some games? Oh, and if you guys have any ideas for a Create a Sim video, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below because I'm feeling like I really want to do a Create a Sim video because I've never actually... Oh, that's not that's not true. I did the, the three minute challenge, but I haven't done like a, a real Create a Sim video. So if you have any ideas, let me know because it's something I'm interested in and I can't really think of anything. It's a really interesting painting. Well, let's sell that. And then we actually could use some more food in the refrigerator, so why don't you make make some salad, I guess. I'll go ahead and clear this out. And what what trimester is she in? She's in her third trimester, so she literally should have the baby any minute. And then He's playing The Sims. Good job, Sebastian. And you're going to have to use the bathroom any minute. And he's just tense from school. Maybe we'll have him try to calm himself down in the mirror. What is... Well, that was interesting. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. The toilet is like glitching out. That is interesting, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and just upgrade their oh, upgrade their toilet while we're here. Um uh, we'll get this one. Still has bubbles. Hmm. Interesting glitches. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be The Sims if it didn't have interesting glitches. Oh well, I guess they're going to have a, a frothy toilet, as gross as that is. Alright, Dexter, you are in a wonderful mood. Why don't you come in here? No, what? And practice your violin. And Sam, why don't you... We don't have a lot of skill building things. Why don't you come play on that? And Sebastian's eating. Olivia is getting very sleepy. Gavin needs to take care of his needs. Oh. The violin is still terrible. Well, if you don't like it... Oh, he can't clean. Hmm. I don't know. Is he neat or something? Oh, he is neat. Okay, well, I didn't know. Looks like Olivia's heading to bed. Or thinking about it. She sees the bathroom first. 
Okay, Dexter. You gave it your best shot. Now it's time for sleep. Sam's going to bed. Sebastian's making his way to bed as well now. They're just in here hanging out in the bathroom. <laughs> Alright, well everybody's going to bed, so I will see you guys in the morning. Alright guys, it's about 6 in the morning and Olivia woke up pretty miserable. Looks like the boys are starting to get up too. Let's see, why don't we have Dexter go grab some breakfast. And, oh, Sam, Sam's already getting some breakfast. And Sebastian's actually in a pretty good mood, so we'll have him maybe talk to Mr. Bunny over here just to do something. She's pretty hungry, too. Oh, she wants to kiss someone. We can do that. Why don't you serve some pancakes so we have some other food options in the fridge? Bastion, you're gonna have to go to the bathroom soon so why don't you just go ahead and come do that right now get ready for the day hopefully by the time you're done pancakes will be ready oh she upped in her cooking skill that's awesome why she's putting olive oil on pancakes I don't know but I I don't know. <laughs> that seems pretty strange. Why don't you come grab a serving of that? Oh, what a good kid, Dexter. And Sam, go ahead and go to the bathroom. Um, I don't know if you'll have time to take a shower. Maybe you take a brisk shower. I don't know if it's actually quicker, but... Uh, you can... You can come exercise. I know. I think he's active, so. Yes, he is active. And today is his birthday. Oh, my goodness. That is very exciting stuff. So we'll have his mom make him a cake when he gets back from school. Let him enjoy his last day as a child. And you need to get to school. And, oh, good, you're already going to school. Gavin's just grabbing some breakfast. Oh, she is very pregnant. I guess they can have some conversations. She could blow him a kiss, maybe. Maybe. Oh, okay, she can. Oh, maybe not. I was going to say, maybe she can't do that while they're eating. And then I was like, oh, yeah, she can. But then she was done eating, so it didn't really... I I don't know. And now she's going to work in her horrid outfit. So, let her work hard, work hard. Do that for all of them. And I don't know if Gavin works today. He does not. So he's probably just going to sit home and write all day. So I'm going to go ahead and skip through it unless something exciting happens. Alright everybody, the boys are home from school. Dexter is just stinking up the place, so we'll have him take a shower. Sam's in a good mood, so he can go play. And Sebastian actually needs some fun, so we'll have him go play as well. There we go. Gavin's still over here writing. He published uh, one, like three books while I had him write, so that was pretty cool. We have more books out in the world, which means more money coming in. And that's always a good thing. And Olivia should be home pretty soon. Guess I could always have Gavin make him a cake. Although I bet his mom would probably want to be here for his birthday, so eh, we'll wait. Have him 
just play some games because he seems a little bored. Oh, well, look at Dexter. <laughs> All right, why don't you come get something to eat? Sure, leftover pancakes for dinner. Yay, and Olivia is home. She's been promoted to a watercolor dabbler. And she got some new things. Oh, and she just feels terrible. Okay, go take a shower. Um, maybe take a quick nap. And then have her, um, we'll just let her nap and we'll have Gavin come make the cake, cook, and we'll just have him make a chocolate cake. And just in time to ruin the birthday, she's gone into labor. Poor little Dexter having to share his birthday with another sibling. It's okay, we'll let Dexter age up first and then we'll take her to the hospital. She will live until then. Okay, the cake is finally done. Add birthday candles. And we'll have everyone come in. Well, I don't know if we should have him sit. We'll have him sit and him sit, and then we'll have Dexter come and make a wish. His mom's in labor. Oh, there he is, and now for the most efficient way to do this. Ah. <laughs> He wants to be a friend of the world. Mm. And he's a geek. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting combination. I find it really funny. Okay, guys. I'm going to take her to the hospital. Let's have her go to the bathroom first. She is... Well, you know what? Maybe we'll just have her have the baby at home. Because she is in a terrible mood and... I just don't want to risk anything happening to them or her or whatever. So, just have her have the baby here. Alright, here she goes having the baby. Yay, it's a girl. And the name that I like is going to be for the door the dwarf happy and it is Harper there she is little Harper very cute all right guys, well Olivia is going to go to sleep because she is exhausted and I'm going to sneak into create a sim and give Gavin a makeover. All right everyone, we're back and here is Dexter. I just went with the very simple kind of geeky look. I embraced his geek trait and just gave him a couple outfits with um, kind of more like video game inspired uh, shirts and then here's his formal if you're interested his oop, party, his sleepwear, and his swimwear, just, oh, and athletic wear. Just in case you're interested, nothing fancy, pretty simple, but he is not very sleepy and he is active, so we'll let him go ahead and go for a jog. What is Gavin up to? Oh, the fridge is stinky. Why don't you clean out some spoiled food? And since Dexter just aged up, we'll go ahead and upgrade his bed because I know that uh, the teens do not sleep very well in these beds. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade her 
painting station. Well, that it won't fit there. Is it because of that painting? Hmm. Put this painting up with move objects and it just doesn't like me. We'll put it in there. Yep, there we go, much better. Go ahead and go to the, oh, I forgot to buy him a bed, duh. Let's buy him a bed. Mm, maybe we'll upgrade him to this one. Well, I don't know if I like that one. It doesn't really go. Eh, that works. We'll just give him the guitars because it matches the rest of the room. There we go. And possibly um, in the next couple of parts, because we're having more children, and I said earlier I was thinking of adding another room, maybe we can do like a kid's room and then like a teenage room. So like when they, hey! That is not, I guess that technically was your bed, wasn't it? Oh well, you, you got upgraded to Dexter's bed. <laughs> um, anyways, what was I saying? Uh, oh, they'll, so when they age up, they will go into the teen room. Uh, why don't we have him go ahead and cuddle his daughter, his only daughter. The first of hopefully many daughters. <laughs> Because we need a daughter to continue this challenge for the next princess. <laughs> Very cute. Okay. And he actually should probably come home and hit the hay with his brothers. And then let's just check on their birthdays. His is in seven days, 11 days, and then she's not even on the map yet. And then he'll be an adult in 13 days. So that's good. Not much time to move anyone out. I mean, what? Plenty of time till he has to move out. Because Gavin is getting older, but it will be just enough time to have another baby because we have to get to seven we have four currently so we're not doing too bad go ahead and send gavin off to bed and i did say gavin uh before i went to give dexter a makeover so i apologize i caught my mistake but it was too late i was already done filming it so yeah it doesn't really matter but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go Thanks for watching, everyone, and hopefully in the next part, we can get Miss Livia pregnant again. I'll talk to you in the next one, guys. Bye!